There's a lady here. I saw what happened here. What in complexion? This lady. I saw an application of the bank. This one. Sister, I saw you making an application in the bank. And, huh? Hmm. But I've already seen the results. And I want to change these results. Do you hear me? With what I'm seeing now in my spirit, I see the bank denying you. You know, but Jesus can change this. Do you hear me? When, when were you planning to do the application? I'm supposed to do it sometime next week. I'm just waiting for documents, supporting documents sometime to submit. Sometime next week. Yeah, from any time from next week, I mm. should be doing that. Uh, I'm hearing that uh, y y y you have already failed. You hear me? Yes. But God wants to change it and put it in your favor. Amen. And I want to tell you, there's, there's no spirit that will stop you. In Jesus' name. No spirit that will stop you. Come out. Because I see papers in front of her. I see her filling some forms. Come out. And I'm hearing God say, the demons who wanted to fail. Oh, you demon. You won't stop her in the name of Jesus. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday prophetic service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophet T.E. Makaranisa. And standing with me here today is my sister who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simona who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Leonora. I come from Limpopo. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, he prophesied about uh, an application that I'm, um, I'm about to, to take to the bank. So he did prophesy that uh, he saw a plan of the devil trying to make this fail, but then God will turn it to work out, to work out good in my favor. Yeah. So please tell us a little bit. So please tell us a little bit more about this application. What is it about? It's an application to secure funds for my business. And how long have you been trusting in God for this kind of breakthrough? For over a year, just to be precise. Yeah, just over a year I've been trying and it has not been going well. Yeah. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you regarding it and he ministered and declared that it's going to work in your favor? Um, I feel very grateful to the Lord, first of all, because I've been wanting... Um, for God to show me direction if you know I can proceed with this, if this is a plan for my life. And I'm very grateful that the servant of the Lord, Prophet Andres, confirmed everything that it will work out for good in my favor. And how would you encourage somebody who's trusting in God for something? I would encourage everyone to just press on, continue, continue serving God with your life. Not just, you know, um, what you want to benefit from it, but just to be sincere in, your sev in you serving God and humble yourself all the time and have a good heart, you know. I think because the heart is the contact point where God communicates with you and speaks a word to you. So I think let's clean our hearts and serve God with our lives and I think God will do the rest. Mama, I want to pray for you. Do you hear me? Amen. But I'm seeing a very dark cloud in the family. I'm hearing about someone called Maria. You know Maria? No, I don't remember her. Mm, I see Maria wearing the clothes of a church, a traditional church. You hear me? And yes, in what I'm seeing, I'm seeing Maria wearing is like powder blue clothes with something here, like, uh, what do we call it? A sign of, and I'm hearing this Maria, is this side, I don't know if it's ever ten. go with that side. And I heard I must pray for you because of this woman. Do 
to hear me. Yes, man of God. And uh, again, I was hearing a lady called Norma. And I'm hearing I must pray for you also, for this lady. So I believe today God will help you. But I see this woman as a church person. On this side, it's like a Sangoma. Uh, I don't know all her names, but uh, speaking about the uniform and the Sangomas, I think I can create a... You, now you know the woman. Uh, I see it's like wearing clothes of the church, but on the other side is like Sangoma. She's confused. That's true, man of God. She's confused. Yes, she stays as Hear you? She stays as Sobukeni. Mm, as I said, I see her this side, as if you are going to Everton, something like that. That side. And I want to pray for you. Let's remove the confusion of this woman. Amen. You hear me? Yes, man of God. Uh, because you can't be here and you come here. So I believe today God must save your life. Amen. And God will do that through you. Thank because you if this lady God. can be saved, the whole family will be free. Amen. Thank you, God. You hear me, Mama? If this lady can be free, everyone will be free. Amen. Thank you, God. You know, sometimes bring her here. I tell you, sometimes uh, you will never know what, what is happening to our families. Bring her here. Touch your stomach in Jesus' name. Because I see someone wearing a uniform. But from there, I see the same person here wearing another uniform of Sangomas. She knows this lady. So today, if she's free, the whole family will be free. Prophet Andrew said, uh, he, say, he sees a lady staying in the Val area, and her name is Maria. Uh, I'm not sure about the name. I'll just have to check around, or ask around, because uh, the, pe the people staying at the Val area are my in-laws, so I don't know all, all their names. So when, me when mentioning that the lady is going to church and on the other side, he's a sang she's a Sangoma, that's true. Uh, yes, like I said, even though I don't know her name, but I know that lady who is a Sangoma and also going to church. My in-laws, most of them, they are wearing the powder, powder blue colors with a cross, yes. Uh, when concluding, Prophet Andres said that if that lady, if he prays for me, and then he will be touching the lady also, and if the lady um, can be touched and accept Jesus Christ and leave that other side, that other thing of the Sangomas, the whole family will be saved. Like um, all their family, they are going to the other church that are wearing the powder blue with the cross on them. So he said, if that lady can accept Jesus Christ as the savior of her soul, the whole family will be saved. So I thank God for that. I really thank God for that, meaning this is my assignment for me to pray for that lady to accept Jesus Christ as the savior of her soul so that the whole family can know that Jesus Christ is the only way to enter the gates of heaven. I thank God for the prophecy. Yes, I'm very grateful for the prophecy. Jesus. There's also a lady here. I close your grave. This one. You. You have been dreaming dead people. You. This one. Fawn. Yes. Mama, there's a dead spirit following you. There are bad dreams that are coming to you. I normally don't. Oh my yes, I'm telling you. So now you need to pray. If not, this is going to be good for you. Come here and touch you. Jesus! Jesus, my tenant! Come on! 
There's a lady there. There. You, yes. This one, behind. Sister, you must pray. Yes. You hear me? Yes, sir. You must pray. Yes, man of God. You must pray. Yes, man of God. You are hearing what I'm saying to you? Yes, man of God. You know, I see something. What I'm seeing, I see why everyone becomes comfortable with you. Yes, I've been complaining about that also. You know, this is an attack to you. Why people are so easy to be comfortable to a point that they can even tell you their problems. Yes, man of God. This is an attack to you. Yes, man of God. Do you hear me? Yes, man of God. I see a brother here who was like, I don't know if he's a pastor or what. I see this man calling you and asking you about another lady. Uh, saying, is this lady good or not? Oh, yes, man of God, I remember. Yes, Talking man. about, I see a very scrum, yes. small, short, not really short but very scrawl, asking you about a tall lady. Yes, huh? I remember. I don't yes. want to mention the names of people. Mm. And why is, is he asking you? Yes, man of God. That's exactly what I asked. I'm not here to speak the stories of people. I'm here to set you people free. Amen. You hear me? I said, I'm here to set you free. I can hear you. Amen. Amen. But I want that lady to be careful. Because I'm seeing this young man uh, asking you on the phone, saying, but what about this lady? Uh, and I see a tall lady. Her name starts with P. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. In Jesus' name. I didn't say anything. In Jesus' mighty name. You know, sometimes if you listen to a lot of people telling you this, that it's part of attack. They're attacking you. You know, you won't understand it, but I'm speaking it in parables. It's an attack. attack. If someone come to you and tell you this and that, because you people, you allow people to do that, isn't it? They're attacking you. That's why me, you can never come to me with a story and say, uh, 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 it will never happen. I will ask you, were you there? You can never be comfortable and tell me a story. It's not possible. Because I will make you uncomfortable. I will make sure. Hallelujah. Uh, you must not give up. You must not give up. I see you giving up with this car business. No, oh because no. things are very slow. <laughs> yes. No. Uh, it's like you want to stop it. <laughs> yes, I uh, want to stop it. Uh, believe Jesus. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. Believe Jesus. This business will work. Amen. Come here, Jesus. I pray for you. <laughs> Jesus, my name. Is free. Sir, live, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Joseph Seleso. I'm from Bloemfontein. Sir, today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, uh, Prophet Andres located me today and prophesied to me that uh, I want to give up on business of cars. Yes, it's true that uh, I started a business of selling cars early January this year and I've been advertising on the internet but nothing was forthcoming. So today actually uh, uh, the, ad the advert for, for other car that I advertised expired uh, during the week then I decided you know I don't think this thing is working. I, I think I'm just leave it. I, prof I, I, I confirm the, the prophecy to be true mm. to my life. Yes. 
And so how do you feel that Prefer Andres located you and and even guided you or rather encouraged you not to give up on this business? No, I feel I feel I feel relieved actually because yeah. really I, I was really give up in because you know I've been advertising and nothing was forthcoming but today I, I feel relieved and uh, uh, I think I'm coming back again to, to business again. Amen. There's a lady there who's having a small child. This lady was specs. This one. Who's having a small child? This one. Huh? My brothers. They've got small children. Yes. Mm. There's a lady also uh, that I'm seeing. You must tell that lady I said there's a job that is coming. Amen. Because I see a position that she's crying for. And I believe God is going to do it for her. Amen. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Mangare Ajunyande. I came from Midrand. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, he asked me about we have a baby. I told him it's my brother who so have a younger baby. And he also told me about a sister who have a position that was have been crying for that will get that position. Amen. And are you aware of this position? Did your sister speak to you about it? Yes, she has been crying for her job if it will come to an end or if she will be promoted after her internship. So this is the confirmation that she will get it. Amen. And how do you feel that Prof. Andres confirmed that? I thank God for it because she has been crying a lot. So I thank God also this position was given because she came here from church. So now the confirmation came. I am so happy and thank God for that. Amen. There's a woman there also. God will give you a job. That one. This one. Mama, you. Yes. There's a job God wants to give you. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Uh, because of how things are happening in your family. Very tough. Yeah. So now trust God that this job will be Thank a blessing Jesus. to you. Thank you, Jesus. And this spiritual husband must also leave you. In Jesus' name. Bring her, I touch her. Come on. Come on, you demon. Out. Huh? You are saying what? What are you saying? I can't hear you. Huh? Huh? I can't hear you. Huh? Leave this lady. Come on. Come on. Oh, you demon. Out. She's free. I'll come into you, brother. Yeah. You must take care of your child, your son. You hear me? Yes. And I want God to bless you because sometimes you ask yourself, what will I give him? That's true. So now after today, let's allow God to open doors for you. Thank you, sir. Because there are children that if you abandon, you will have a problem. Yes. So now I'm praying that God must give you strength to take care of your child. Thanks. His name. You're free, brother. Yes, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Oh, my name is Jonathan Sifefe. I stay in Tembis, uh, Zone 5. Today, during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yeah, he told me about my son. He said I must take care of my son because of his mother used to complain that uh, I must take care of him. Yes, but sometimes, yes, I was not working, but now I'm working, so... Yeah, I started to take care of him last of last month because I was not working. 
Yes. And uh, Prophet Andris advised you on what to do. Um, what changes are you going to implement moving forward? Yeah, actually, I'm even in, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to to buy him clothes and yeah, many things because he's still young. Yeah, because he used to call me that I must buy him bicycle and shoes. Yeah, you know, kids. Yes, yeah, so I think I'll do that next month. Yes. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life and even guided you? Yeah, I'm feeling good because I never thought that I can get prophecy today. Yes. Who's in matric? Uh, two of my children. Huh? Two of my kids. Because I see children in matric. Yes, Prophet. But uh, they are not doing well. Yeah, I've been very worried about mm. that. So today we need to pray for them. The spirit in the family must live. You hear me? Yeah. Because it seems as if there's a demon that is blocking their minds. Yes. They, uh, they used to do well before. That's correct. So that's now why there's a I've spirit yes. that doesn't want them to do well. Yes, so, but as I'm praying for you, even these children will be. Huh? Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I have yours all over the uh, world. Uh, my name is Zama. I reside at Midrand. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Well, Prophet Andrews actually located me during the service. Uh, uh, it was something that has been uh, very worrisome um, since the beginning of the year. He mentioned that uh, I've got uh, someone who's in metric, of which two of my kids are in metric, I can confirm that. And it has been uh, a very hectic journey that uh, he mentioned something about uh, the results or something in that they are not doing well, of which is something that has been very stressing me throughout the year. I've been praying about that. So when I was located, I felt like um, the baggage that I've been carrying uh, regarding uh, their results and academic, uh, everything that um, they're doing, especially at school, um, is now going to be lifted. And I feel very light already, and I know that there has never been a prophecy that I've received in this house that has fallen to an empty ground. And even with this one, it shall come to pass. They're about to write their metric examination from the 30th of um, of October. And I know that the God of this place that I trust so much uh, will do wonders upon their lives. and. Their minds shall be restored as he has actually declared that that everything will be turned around, so I believe so. Bring her. Stop, huh? stop it. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. You are saying what? Stop. You know what you No, 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 no. Can't stop. Prophet, go. Pass, 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 pass. You, you want me to pass? Why, why do you want me to pass? I want not to, not to see her, not to pray for her. You, you want me to pray for her? I don't want to pray for her. Why? No. Huh? No. Why? I don't want. What is your reason? I just don't want. You just don't want? Leave her to suffer. Huh? Leave her, she must suffer. She must suffer? Mm. I, I know you. I know you too. You know me too. <laughs> yeah. Sister, look here, look here. You need to pray, you hear me? Amen. You need to pray. Because the, there's attacks in the family everywhere. Yes. And right now, there's fear that one of the family members can die. Yes, I saw. I saw. 
you saw a grave. Mm. Mm. So now I want to close this grave today. Amen, Amen prophet. Because uh, what I saw was the foundation of all these problems. Yes. And there's an older person who's not well. So I'm canceling this death in the name of Jesus. I cancel in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Dahina Makaringe. I come from Clayville. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, Prophet prayed for me and he said I must pray. Uh, there is a, it's like there is people who wanted to kill someone in my family. And then I confirm that it is true because I've been dreaming of my dead relatives and I dreamt again a grave, a fresh grave. So it's true. What Prophet said is true. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you, spoke about you, spoke to you regarding this problem and even told you that you need to pray? I'm, I'm, I'm very happy because it, w it, it, it was my wish for him to locate me regarding this issue because each and every night I will dream, uh, having bad dreams, dreaming people who are dead, people will be calling me, pray, we saw so someone in your family dead. So today I'm happy because I believe God knew about this and I believe that the problem has been solved. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm waiting there. You are, did you leave alcohol? <laughs> you are trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Clap hands for him. <laughs> hey, you know, at least he's honest. He's honest. I want God to help you. Today, after I pray for you, God will give you strength to leave it. Thank you, God. You hear me? Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm free, sir. Something sitting here. Come on. Come on. Out. Out. Oh, you demon. But I'm praying for your wife. I'm seeing a car. Did you people buy a car? You bought a car. Huh? Amen. When did when did she buy a car? Uh, they, they called me to come and make a uh, trade in to get another one. I can't hear you, sir. They have called me last week to come and make a, a trade in that's for the say, ones I have got. That's why I'm saying when I'm praying for this lady, I'm seeing a car. Amen. And, and this car is coming. Amen. And this car is going to be better than all the cars at home. Amen. You know, whether Satan likes it or not, uh, it will be better than all these cars at home here. Amen. C can you hear what he's saying? He say they, they call me to come and do a trading. Already you have a car, brother. Amen. You have a car, say, enjoy it. Yeah. You, you must go now. So you're, you're saying she was not... Angu Kandi. Angu Kandi. Angu Kandi. She, she won't drive it. Why? When it's time to keep a level like the prophecy and the friend, that she needs to have a level. You are saying what? Level like she's taking wash. Why? Can you hear what this demon is saying? Always, look, a professor, look, she will be a church for that church. Testimony, testimony. It's a testimony. Eh? The testimony time. I cannot testimony. I cannot testimony. You know? You know that we, when we were in Winnie Mandela, we used to sing a song that. Just solo, babula bula iye na, babula bula iye. Just so washa ya, washa. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Kaizen Derek Zuaya, Tamala Win Mandel. And the lady next to you? This is my wife. Ladies, by the way. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yeah, you see, I will uh, go and I will get another car, and then which is uh, true, because they phoned me already last 
last week they say I must come and make a trade in and see if I can qualify for it. And then he says it will be true because they have already done it already. I'm thanking God for that. Amen. Thank you. And Ma, how do you feel that today your family was located? Amen. You can see Nukubashi Skumishi delivering. I can see the question of Shangana Shangana Shang. Since he figured like Kirkenia Charis, he questioned the Shubal Abu Wako and the Yusi and Shah Mele. And that can say Amen.